This is the second section of the T formulae chapter. And here we're going to be looking at applying T formulae to trig identity. So you'll know from what we've done previously that we set T equal to tan theta over two. And then from that we'll have sine theta equals two T over one plus T squared. Now we'll do the uh, reciprocal of that, which is cosec. So that will be one plus T squared over two T. Same with cos that we've derived already. And that will be one minus T squared over one plus T squared. So that means that sec theta is gonna be the reciprocal of that. So one plus T squared over one minus T squared and then lastly tan theta which is 2t over 1 minus t squared so that means that cot theta is 1 minus t squared over 2t so we can use these trig identities to help us now um, when you have a trig identity imagine like you've got some stuff written over this side some stuff written over this side and we need to prove that maybe one side equals the other now there are different ways we can do it we can start with the left hand side and try and get what we have on the right hand side or we can start with what's on the right hand side and prove that it equals the left hand side now if you're not sure what side to start with normally we want to start with the side which gives us uh, the more complex result so we want to start with normally something that's complex and then simplify it and simplify it you know it's easier to start with something complex and simplify it than to start with something simple and try to make it more complex yeah so one side may look simpler than the other in terms of t that is and that's the side we start with or it may be that we start with both sides and we see if we can get them to meet somewhere in the middle yeah because it may not necessarily be obvious to get from one side to the other yeah but it may be that we can get to a meeting point in the middle and show that those two are the same that way so we've got different ways in which we can um, prove these trig identities Right, so we've got to prove this identity. So this is what we've got on the left-hand side. We've got this on the right-hand side. There's some information about restricting the um, domain because we don't want to get something that's not defined in the um, denominator. So we don't want to get a zero in the denominator. And uh, the decision we need to make is do we start with the left and go to the right or do we start from the right and go to the left well we know that we're going to let t equal tan theta over two now if i look at the right hand side this is basically just one plus t over one minus t that's quite straightforward it's the left hand side which is going to be more complex because i'm going to have the reciprocal of sine at the top the reciprocal of tan at the bottom so this is the side that i'm going to start with because i can simplify things to get to this but it's going to be quite tricky to try and make this look more complicated like that side so we're going to start with the left hand side which is one plus cosec theta over cot theta now so that's going to be one plus the reciprocal or let's write it like this one over sine like this now if it's divided by tan so that's one sorry divided by cot it's one over tan so this can be written as uh, one plus one over sine times by tan okay so we're going to have one plus so one over sine in terms of t is going to be one plus t squared over two t 
and then we're going to multiply that by uh, tan, which is going to be 2t over uh, 1 minus t squared. So from there, um, if you want to multiply this, really, we want to write the 1. So it's got the same denominator as this. So we'll write it as 2t over 2t. So 2t over 2t plus 1 plus t squared over 2t allows me to put those together before I multiply by the 2t over 1 minus t squared. So I will have um, t squared plus 2t plus 1 all over 2t. So this is what's in the brackets times by 2t over 1 minus t squared. Now, um, I want to see if I can cross cancel and I'll do that by factorizing. So factorizing the top of the first fraction, that'll be t plus 1, t plus 1 over 2t. And then the second fraction will be 2t, 1 minus t squared. That's a difference of two squares. So 1 plus t, 1 minus t. Now, by doing that, I can see that these will cross cancel out and 1 plus t and this 1 plus t or t plus 1 will cancel out. Now, can you see I've made something complex, very straightforward, and I've made it the result that I want, which is 1 plus t over 1 minus t as required. So we started with the more complex side and we simplified it. Okay, now there's something different about this question, which we'll highlight here. So we've got this uh, tan 2 theta cos theta. We've got these two thetas here. Yeah, and we've not come across those before. Yeah, all our t formulae um, are either theta over 2 and theta. But if we double everything up, so you know that when we said, um, we normally deal with tan is theta over 2. So then, you know, we've got expressions for sine theta, cos theta, and tan theta. But what if we just doubled everything up and we said, right, tan theta? Well, then we'd have expressions for sine 2 theta, cos 2 theta, and tan 2 theta. Yeah? And we, you know, we can do that with, with any number, actually. I could say, right, Let's triple it up uh, or anything else. I can say, right, tan 5 theta and then have my expressions, my T expressions for tan 10 theta, cos 10 theta and tan 10 theta. You could do it the opposite way around and you could say, right, how about tan, let's say theta over four and half it. So then our expressions, our T expressions would be sine theta over two cos theta over 2 and tan theta over 2. The important thing is that the angles here are going to be double the angles here. It's like a double angle in a way. So the angles over this side, all of these angles are double what we have here. Now, since we have 2 theta, rather than saying t equals theta over 2, we're going to say let t equal tan theta and we're going to double everything up so the expressions we're going to be writing down are going to be for sine 2 theta cos 2 theta and tan 2 theta so we'll be using this here so you are allowed to do that the relationship remains the same now on this question <clears throat> i probably don't see that one side in terms of t is going to look more straightforward than the other so I'm actually going to work my way to the middle. I'm going to start from both expressions and see if I can get some sort of expression in the middle that shows that they're the same. So I'm going to have some working for the left hand side here, the right hand side here, and let's see if we can get them to meet in the middle. So we've got tan, 2 theta, cot theta, here, cot theta, and over here we've got 1 plus sec 2 theta. Now, uh, just a little word to do with identities. What you mustn't do is start with the whole thing. 
and to use that as your starting point so right okay i'm going to move one over to uh, one side and then divide by a sec two feet no 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 you can't do that so it must be that you start with one side and get to the other or start with the other side and get to the other side or get to meet somewhere in the middle you cannot assume this is true yeah so you cannot assume it is true if you're trying to prove it's true okay so now we're going to have to write tan uh, 2 theta so let's just underline these here so we can see the bits that we're going to have so yeah tan 2 theta so because um, I've doubled everything up this would just be 2t over 1 minus t squared and then the cot theta is going to be like 1 over tan theta so actually it's just going to be 1 over t now with the other side um, sec 2 theta well that's going to be the reciprocal to cos so this is 1 plus t squared over uh, 1 minus t squared because we're doubling everything up uh, and I've got one here in front now what I might do is write that one as 1 minus t squared as what and 1 minus t squared so I can put it together okay right let's have a look what we can do in the next step so um, here the t's will cancel out and that will give me 2 over and then I'll have the difference of 2 squares I'll just write it as 2 over 1 minus t squared here okay so we'll leave it like that for the moment let's see what we can do to the other side so here um, if I add these two fractions together obviously they've got the same denominator 1 minus t squared so I'm going to have 1 plus 1 which is 2 and then minus squared t squared plus t squared oh that's just nothing all right so I've got them to meet in the middle I've started from the two ends and I've got them to meet in the middle which basically means now that um, I've proved the identity so I could say something like since um, this tan 2 theta cot theta is equivalent to 2 over 1 minus t squared and 1 plus sec 2 theta is also equivalent to 2 over 1 minus t squared therefore tan 2 theta cot theta is equivalent to 1 plus sec 2 theta as required or you could write the phrase as required okay you should now be able to do exercise 5b on pages 1 2 1 to 1 2 2 just a very quick recap so remember our t formulae yeah and you could actually double everything up like we did in the previous example so if we did double everything up um, so sine theta cos theta and tan theta would become sine 2 theta sine 2 theta cos 2 theta and tan 2 theta and just remember when we've got our identities that we're trying to prove we've got our left hand side here we've got our right hand side here you can start with one side and work your way to the other or you can try and get them to meet somewhere in the middle but my advice would be to start with the more complex looking side more complex looking side and that's after you've um, written it in terms of t um, and then it you know if they both look complex and you can't work out which one um, is the more complex one then move to the middle okay so if 
both sides look um, about the same about the same the same complexity complexity then um, start with both sides and move to the middle. Start with both sides. 